my honey bunches of oats. Today we're making my pineapple coconut rum cream cheese pound cake. Cream cheese pound cake. <laughs> um, emphasizing on this, guys, because it's so good. So, my last, we have some flour here, all purpose flour. Okay, I have some sugar. Okay. And, um, my loves, just to be clear, this is extremely delicious, okay? So we have some butter, we have some um, cream cheese, I have some baking powder, baking soda, and salt, all right? I have some milk, I have some eggs, we have vanilla, I have some pineapple oil flavoring from Lorenz. Very good stuff here, guys. I also have some sour cream. We have, what else here? Oh, yeah. So I also have some crushed pineapples, okay, that we're going to use that's going to go into our batter. And we're going to make a nice uh, 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 pineapple, like, coconut rum sauce thingy that we're going to put. We'll now have some pineapple juice. I have some butter. Okay. And we have some Bacardi rum. And we're going to need some sugar, okay? Some Bacardi coconut rum, baby. So, my loves, we are going to take our butter, which is at room temperature. And we are going to place it into our mixing bowl along with our cream cheese. And, my loves, don't worry. The ingredients are listed in the description box below. All right? All right. So, I got everything here at room temperature, guys. So right now we're just um, beating our cream cheese and our butter together for a few minutes, okay? And now we're drizzling in our sugar, okay? And I'm going to beat this for at least a good 15 minutes, okay? Now this pound cake is so good because I'm taking some of the leftover um, pineapple... Um, crushed pineapple juice that I drained and I'm making a nice like a rum butter pineapple coconut rum sauce which you're gonna see that's gonna come together so my loves you're gonna scrape the bowl okay make sure you scrape your bowl to make sure that you're mixing everything thoroughly okay So yes, we are making a pineapple rum coconut sauce like that's going to be drizzled into our cake. Not only is it going to make our cake very, very moist, but that's that extra alcohol. Okay, it wouldn't be a delicious cream cheese pineapple pound cake, coconut rum of course, if it didn't have that, all right? So, my loves, we're scraping our bowl down again, scraping our sides, okay? I realized that my, usually my uh, cream cheese and stuff is usually a little bit more thicker. Now we're adding our eggs one at a time. But I think because I'm using the no brand type of cream cheese, that's what's happening. I mean, believe it or not, guys, people always say, oh... You know, name brands don't make nothing mean a thing. Sometimes for certain things, I think it does. You know, um, the name brand does make a difference. So if you could use Philadelphia cream cheese, the actual Philadelphia cream cheese, use that one. I'm using some other name brand. And I noticed that my, um, the beating of my butter and cream cheese stuff was a little thinner than usual. Especially when I was adding the eggs. But the cake still came out good. Okay. I mean, I know for me, people could never tell me that, well, um, mayonnaise is the same with all name brands. No, that's not true. Because I love my Hellman's. It's not the same. Or um, certain things are just not the same. So if you can use Philadelphia cream cheese, please do so. Now I'm adding my pineapple oil flavoring 
which is very concentrated, guys, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, because it really is that nice, delicious pineapple flavor. So now we're mixing our dry ingredients together, which is our baking powder, our salt, and our baking powder. We're going to mix those dry ingredients together. Okay, and for this, guys, I'm using the kind of flour I'm using. I'm using all-purpose flour. Usually, anytime when I, especially when I'm baking and I'm using all-purpose flours, I have two types that I'll use. That's King Arthur and that's Hecker's. I love both of those flowers. King Arthur or Hecker's flower. I love them both. Okay, so now we're adding our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. Okay, starting with our dry. Okay, now I'm adding the sour cream. Of course, you could have mixed the sour cream and the uh, milk together. Okay, of course, that sour cream is going to add extra moistness. This cake is already going to be moist as is. Okay, and we're mixing that at low speed because we don't want to over mix this batter. Okay. And guys, in the meantime, preheat your oven to 325 degrees, okay? I like to bake my pound cakes, especially my pound cakes, at a 325 degree oven, low and slow, okay? Now we're sprinkling in our um, pineapple, crushed pineapple, which we're just going to gently fold in. Okay, and we are going to put that in a well-prepared greased and flour to pan. You know, guys, when it comes to baking, baking is scientific. It's, it's very scientific, and there's so many things you can do. You know, it's so good to experiment and have fun when you're baking as well. Yeah, you'll make some mistakes. Yes, you'll have some fails. But at the end of the day, you never know. One day, sometimes those mistakes will be one of your greatest recipes. Always remember that. So, guys, now what we're going to do, I'm just spreading out the top. And I'm going to give it a gentle tap. And we're going to place this in our 325 degree oven. And I baked this for about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, your oven might be a little bit more sufficient, so it depends on your oven. So, guys, in a pot, we're taking some of that leftover pineapple juice, some sugar, and we're going to add a stick of butter. And we're going to cook this down, guys. Now, with this rum sauce, you could do two things. Okay, um, it depends on how much alcohol you want, but for me... Um, I really reduced this down by somewhat half and then I'm going to add some of my pineapple oil flavoring to this and after it reduces and it cools then I'm going to add my alcohol because I don't want my alcohol to evaporate from this all right so this is our cake guys out of the oven and what I'm going to do I'm poking some holes in it guys because I want that rum sauce to drizzle all the way down into our cake okay and guys another thing if you don't you could skip the part with you know the pineapple and the rum i mean i'm sorry the pineapple juice and the butter and you could just soak it straight with the pineapple with the uh bacardi coconut rum you could do that you could add as much as you want Okay, um, I'm giving you the measurements of how much I'm, I was adding for this one that I made into a pineapple coconut rum sauce. Okay, and I'm going to drizzle that over my cake while it's in the pan. Okay, and my loves, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, baby. Go ahead, subscribe. And please don't forget to press that notification bell so you can be notified weekly of all my recipes that I upload. Don't forget to like. 
Okay, give me a thumbs up and share. Let everybody know in the world that Jackie, Jackie's cooking. All right? All right. All right. So now we're just pouring this in, you know. Um, and it's, what's so good when I like to do it in the pan, it's going to go into the sides. It's going to soak well into the cake. And I left it in here for quite a few hours, guys, before I took it out. Okay? So it could get well soaked. Okay, and at this point, guys, um, all this beautifulness, all this beautiful deliciousness is just soaking into our cake. Soaking into our cake, infusing our cake with that pineapple, buttery, Bacardi rum. And I added my Bacardi rum last because I didn't want the alcohol to evaporate. Okay, and again, you could skip the part with that and just go straight for the Bacardi coconut rum into this cake. Okay? Look at that. And, and, and this is where the beauty starts. And I would make this at least a day in advance, guys, because then the flavors will intensify into your cake with that beautiful rum sauce. It's, it's going to infuse your cake. Your cake is going to be so moist. Your cake is going to be out of this world. People are going to taste this and they're going to love it. And I'm using the Bacardi coconut rum. So make sure you get a good coconut rum for this cake. Okay. And here's our beauty right here, guys. Here it is in pure form. Now, my loves, if you want to do a white um glaze light you can i didn't feel it was necessary for me but you can if you want to make it look a little bit more cuter go ahead if you want to make like a nice uh, um glaze drizzle for it okay so we're going to cut into this cake guys so i can show you that beauty all that beautifulness okay so rich i did this i would do this a day or two in advance because then the flavors will really intensify Okay, and look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, this cake is very moist, guys. You can see all that, that rum sauce just drenched into the cake nicely. Okay, so be very careful when you're taking it out, okay? Because you don't want your cake to fall apart. So let it cool nicely, let it set nicely before you take it out, guys. But guys, I want you to try this recipe. This is so delicious and so moist. Leave your comments, okay? Tell me what you think. Um, this is great for the holidays coming up. Well, it's great for any time. But just look at all that beauty and all that deliciousness. Just look at that. But my loves, I want you to do something for me, okay? I want you to eat, love, and pray. Until next time, for some more goodness. Bye.